ladies and gentlemen today i'm going to be showing you how to get more flowers from petunias just two or three simple steps and uh, i'll just spin you around these are my petunias here nice basket full here come around get a flower yeah beautiful this one's grown from seed and just come around here we have this one these are filled out really nice. I do like this deep mauve red colour. That one, and then we've got this lovely deep purple. Like velvet. Just touch the leaf, petals. Absolutely so soft. But what you need to do to get more flowers out of these is this is first of all, this is what you want to feed them on. I've got Muku at all purpose, water soluble plant food. Grows twice as big. And then this, when they're really flowering well. To produce more flowers, I use concentrated tomato from Tomorite. Use both of them, and I also use a slow release fertilizer, which I just sprinkle on the top. So every time you water it, that is going to actually feed them a little bit more. So, yeah, once they're in light, so you want to keep on top of deadheading. That's one of the simplest and easiest things to do. You can either use little snips like this, just snip just after the flower. And you just want to walk around every couple of days because when they're blooming like this, it's surprising how many dead flowers you actually get going over. I mean, up here, this one, if you haven't got any snips, just your thumb and forefinger and just nip it like so, and that's deadheaded. And come to this one, this one here, these are all looking well. That one's just going over. You can always tell they start just closing up start losing a little bit of colour and you want to get in here because the more the more times you deadhead the less it's going to put energy into seed pods and the more it's going to put energy into flowering i know it's like time consuming it can seem like but like i said i do it probably three times a week for me it takes five minutes every time so just like it's a lot of time and it just encourages so much more flowers just show you this one here what happens with this is that is actually just seen there that's actually a seed pod so if you left that on the flower it would put all its energy into the seed pods and stop flowering as vigorously you want to get right in here the ones at the back here because if you leave them in they can rot and cause powdery mildew so deadhead you get better airflow and i've got some right in the back here that I missed before and when you miss them you can see let's get this one here you soon start producing seed pods if you miss them so yeah I've looked all the way around the back and get them gone once you've done that if you've got any that are growing leggy that you're worried about you can always like this one here I just give this a prune back so if I prune it just there that oh, there's a seed pod there that I missed a flower and that is producing quite a big seed pod so I prune that back and that will then bush out from there and produce more flowers I mean I have these further down this is a beautiful one this is midnight something I think it was from Thompson and Morgan last year and this one always flowers it's the smaller flowers but they're so beautiful and this has been pruned back a number of times and it's producing so many flowers now it's epic i'll show you that that's powdery mildew petunias can get that i've been i sprayed it for spread for it about a week ago i'll give it another spray once you get it you've got to keep on top of it otherwise it can affect how many flowers you get yeah this one here this one's been pruned as you can see bushing out nicely and then we come around here to our hanging baskets these have all been deadheaded. You can see here, all producing some beautiful flowers. So yeah, all you want to do is prune them back, keep regularly deadheading, and you end up with some beautiful petunia flowers. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask, folks. If you like my videos, please subscribe. As always, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching, everybody, and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.